a uh, drag strip called the Gimli Glider. Really interesting. Okay, good. Yeah. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Okay. So here we go. So I'll start an engine failure. Go ahead. Isn't there another little runway just right here somewhere? Yeah, there's actually a grass one right behind us as well. Oh. But uh, yeah. Okay. So here's what we'll do is we'll reduce the power. Yeah. Okay. First things first, aviate. Okay. What's the best glider speed? 75. No, 68. Eight. Okay, so look, I'm raising the nose to get to that airspeed. Yep. Then I lower the nose. Hey, this pitch attitude looks really familiar, right? Yep. It's our normal descent attitude. Okay, I'm going to turn around. I think there's better options over there. Clear yep. left. Nice, gentle roll. Totally trimmed out. And this way, we're also heading into the wind. Uh, we also want to land near people because people can help us. Yeah. Okay, so the goal is to be able to get so trimmed out that you don't even have to touch the controls. I'm right there, best nice. line. Pretty easy. Okay. Awesome. Uh, now, let's, let's figure out a point here. And you could spend forever looking for a point. <laughs> um, let's see. There's a nice green field right down there, right next to the road, mm -hmm. and the rows go in line uh, with the wind. Let's go ahead and use that. What now, you would say? you try to hit that little road on, uh, next to the green field, since it's just a gravel road there? No, because uh, it's perpendicular to the wind. Oh, yeah. Probably. Okay. okay. All right, so that's where we're going. We could probably take the time to glide farther, um, but there's a nice spot. Might as well not waste time looking for a spot. Okay. So now I go through my air start. Here we go. Follow my lead, please. Yep. Fuel selector in the both. The shutoff is in. Mixture's rich. Throttle full. I'll say, no, that doesn't fix it. Okay, so back. Fuel pump on. Faster on. Mags on both. Okay. It didn't get back on. So I'm still looking at my point here, trying to circle over key position. Okay. Okay, it's not working, so the next time uh, we're trying to find Lima and the 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 Okay, so notice we're all the while working towards our point. Hmm? Okay, we're about a thousand feet above the ground here. Okay, so I would probably put in one notch of flaps here. Okay. I'm trying to make it as normal as possible. Is that your build right there? Uh, I'm going to take the one on the east side of the road. Yeah. Okay. I do have to cross power lines, but uh, there's no trees on the approach yet. Okay. 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 So at this point... Uh, I would squawk and talk. I do have time for that. Seven seven zero zero. I'd say mayday, mayday, mayday. Uh, landing three west or two west of the Woodburn drag strip. Three Definitely souls on board. And three souls on board. Thank you. So I'm modifying the size and shape of my pattern here. I'm in a bit of a slip, and we'll go no lower than seven hundred feet. All right. So I think three five Lima. He's uh, left downwind for downwind three five. We would open our door. I would shut off all the reds, I'd pull this and that, turn off the master, mm -hmm. turn on the ELT. I'd switch this back, by the way. And there's 500. Well, with, the, with an aggressive side slip, we'd be able to get there, and yep. we'd walk away. Yep. So I'm going to initiate a go-around. One notch of flaps right away. I do have a positive rate of climb and stabilize. I'll bring the rest of my flaps out. And there we are climbing out. Would you like the controls? Yes, I have yeah, the controls. controls. Okay, so what did you observe there and what pieces connected for you between the whiteboard, your homework study, and then also what you've seen in the air? All of them. All of them. <laughs> I think I can do this. Okay, cool. So let's go up to somewhere around 3,000 have a good sight. Uh, go ahead, raise your right wing, please, Don. You are clear right. He's Let's turn. start a right turn. Yeah, he's turning our direction. Roger. Yep. Keep doing it. 
doing a climb right hand turn. Let's really get trimmed up at our climb airspeed. Look, he's, he might be, he's probably headed to Newburgh. Yeah. I want to know where that guy was up here. Good maneuvers. Uh, traffic 25 Lima, he's on final, wrong with 25 bar. Okay, a little bit more right rudder in the climb. There you go. I can keep turning to the right here. Yep. Seems like everybody's coming out to fly today. This haze from smokers is for uh, a uh, you, you can look over to the left, see the color, it's uh, a dark color, so that's mostly smoke. What's all the smoke from? Uh, I guess just a burn day. Huh? Yeah, it's a burn day, so you got a lot of people just burning flash piles. And, yeah. Does that drive you nuts? It does when they call me because I have to go chase the smoke, yeah. <laughs> It's an easy way for neighbors to rattle on their neighbors. You know, I, I, I have a property and they do that to me all the we time. We get lots of those. And it's usually almost always to do with a neighbor not liking something. Yeah. But not liking the other neighbor has usually nothing to do with the safety of the fire. So, them out there anywhere? No. So, Don, on the conversation of picking a field, yep. at any given time during the day especially, there's usually five, ten options of where to go, but the important thing is to pick one and go Stick for it. it. You know, okay. make an educated choice, but don't waste time figuring out which one's the absolute best. Go for it. You'll be able to make it work most of the time. Would you agree with that, Chris? Or? Absolutely. Um, the temptation is to really look at those roads. But just remember, if you look down here, most of these, especially these paved roads, almost all of them have power lines running yeah. next to them. So they might not be as easy to see when you're in a That's right. That's right. Two o'clock low. Over that next road. Yeah. Over that next road. 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 Bring your power back a little bit as well. There you go. Well, yeah, let's uh, turn left heading 160, please. Chris, you have that sight. Yeah, I got him. Okay. There you go. Good correction with rudders. Good altitude control, Don. Nice job. you're on that heading, let me know. Uh, figure out a place, a couple places you might want to go. Figure out where the wind is on the ground. Just what we would normally do when we're talking. And it may not always be out your left window either. Yeah. Uh, closer to the river is usually more soggy, which is not necessarily in our best interest. Light brown is usually better than dark like green. Like in this big old hunk and field out here, like uh, green. Three five me, mate. Okay. Um, yeah. wrong with three five four. Sure. Yeah, let's try for it. There's some standing water down there, though. Standing water is bad, but uh, where's that at? Oh, uh, you can see the reflection of it over there. But, oh, uh, no, I'm talking this green one right here. Okay, great. Well, why don't you raise your nose a little bit? And, uh, yeah, point point to the field again. Right there. For our traffic, 738 okay. Charlie, left cross. What do you do first? Okay. Trim for best glass. Yeah, be very smooth.
and trim while you're getting there. Road traffic, so 738 Zulu Charlie, left downwind off of runway 35. We'll be departing the pattern to the southwest, Aurora State. Okay, good. So you're almost there. Uh, where's your field? Where are you going to go? What's that? Turn to your spot. That's the second step. Nice and smooth. Stay at that best glide airspeed. Keep working on it. You're almost there. Well, it's, it's good to get close to the point in circle because how okay. high are we above the ground? Thousand. Uh, how high? Thousand. Two thousand actually yep. above the ground. So we have time. All right. Okay. Now let's work on trying to get the engine going. Full. Yeah. Shut off in. Shut off in. Mixture. Okay. Four traffic. That's a seven three eight Zulu Charlie. Sure. Departing uh, pattern. Push the throttle all, 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 all the way in. in. Yep. Go ahead. Push it. Keep going with your flow. Fuel pump. Go ahead, turn on. on. Okay. Master. Okay. And we won't hit this yet. Not yet, not yeah. yet. How are you doing with your field? Field is right. Right off your nose. Yeah, yep. that's it right there with that little thing. Okay. I'm gonna go around again, I got plenty of time. Okay, good, good decision. Now, okay. do you have time to get try another flow or? Yes, I do. Uh, I probably would resign to the fact that we're gonna land right, right okay. here. I'd, I'd probably take that. Okay. So pull your power all the way back, please. Great. Power all the way back. Uh huh. Okay. So now, if we're gonna land, I'm doing reds now. Yeah. Uh, don't ask for uh, pull. There's a shell here. Don't wait for all the people. Pull. Okay. Off. Good. Doors. Good. I would steepen your angle of bank a little bit here. Blown away. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to turn in a best glide scenario, go right to 30 degrees. But don't get fast in the turn either. And if you put in 5 degrees of flaps, it'll help you. Okay. I'm going to turn off your fuel pump over there. All right. Then what would you say? Um, mayday, mayday, mayday. Um, Skyhawk. Um, 172, Victor, emergency landing. Um, I'm probably going uh, uh, to uh, west okay. west 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 yeah, oh. nice job. I would add flaps there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go around, please. Uh, traffic three five Lima eight seven finals runway three five four. Switch us over to 2275, actually. 2275 is in Aurora and Hillsborough traffic pad or traffic or sorry practice area frequency. And uh, keep that right rudder in in the climb. Uh, we need to go practice stalls here. We'll debrief uh, the emergency on the climb. But how high do we need to go for stalls? Uh, company policy. Any idea? Are you talking to me? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. Company policy. Well, we got to be over three thousand, right? Yeah, it's uh, recovery no lower than three thousand feet. Yeah. So you've gone. I recommend doing clearing turns in your climb, and I'll do a traffic call here. Aurora Southwest Practice Area, Skyhawk 172, Julia Victor's uh, 3 Southwest, Woodburn Drag Strip, climbing through 2000. We'll be between stalls uh, 3000 or above Aurora traffic. Here's a guy.
guy up there, you can follow him. Keep going. Yep, keep that uh, nose up with the climb airspeed. Uh, guy turning in. He's a little low coming through 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. He's doing the ground reference maneuvers down low. Roger. Uh, yeah, right off our inside. wing right now. Got him inside, thanks. Yep. So what I'll do, Don, is I'll have the controls for a bit so that you can debrief the emergency. May I have the controls? You have the controls? I'll have the controls, thank you. All right, so from your perspective, what was it like? Did you get everything? Did you miss I, anything? What would you change? I think I got everything. Okay. Um, you know, for the first time, I think I got it. Okay. By, uh, I... I, um, and I think I know what to do if I would have gone back a second time. Okay. Yeah, I agree. And uh, you actually, you were set up much better than I was on on final. The problem with, with being at that position, however, is if there was any type of headwind, uh, you might not have made it. But for the conditions today, it looked really good. How about you, Chris? Any critique or? No, I thought it was really good. Um, it's hard to, from my observation back here, one thing is really how much stuff is out there. <laughs> the first field prior to the to your spot had a number of cross irrigation piping uh -huh. that are hard to see, and I think you were perfectly set up. You weren't. You're going to go right over the top of them, but those are just some things I noticed on short. It was a, you know, you picked a good field. There was nothing in the field, um, and so yeah, it looked really good. It was a great setup. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Uh, I really caution against a constant 15 to 20 degree bank. Uh, it takes a long time to turn and you lose a lot of altitude. So uh, it, it worked out there, but it may not always work out. If you're turning, just go right to 30 degrees. Okay. And keep it safe though, keep your airspeed uh, correct. So.